this sort of really nostalgic experience I had in the first sort of pandemic summer. I used to just sit in our attic, you know, mutter into my microphone, make loops, and when the loop felt like cooked, you know, when it felt right, I'd eventually lie down on the floor. <laughs> you know, nostalgia, like weirdness, like all kind of going through you. I had a professor who was always like, you have to say your name downwards, like Courtney Swain. Instead of Courtney Swain, like he was like, you can't question mark your name. I have a hard time working on the computer. I just thought I was lazy. Like I just thought, I just thought I was lazy or, or dumb. I mean, here's a computer. There's a billion plugins. I have a bunch of plugins. Why am I not making music? And there was always this way. I don't like working on the computer. I don't want to. Work. I started creating music a lot more and a, and a lot more fluently. Just not having to turn on my computer. I'm moving a lot of knobs and uh, holding a lot of moments of loop. I'm more comfortable with pedals or sort of this physical, um, like tactile way to create. Do you want to do some harp together? We'll play some stuff together? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. <laughs> today and you can listen to this song in full along with a bunch of other ones we're really excited about it so you can listen to it wherever you listen to your music it looks so hard it looks really hard really like, yeah major major respect to you for like I, making it look effortless there was like no hesitation really like you weren't oh like, i'm hesitating in my oh, head well, a we lot <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of thoughts <laughs> happening in, up in here it's like panic panic <laughs> panic <laughs> i'm like you can't tell you look so relaxed it's so that's so interesting i think i can do this i'm gonna try it i'm giving this pedal board away thanks to today's sponsor perfect circuit and if you're watching this video before this date, that means you still have a chance to win this board. Perfect Circuit carries a lot of the pedals that you'll see featured in today's video, but they don't tell me what pedals to use and they don't tell me what to say. If you're going to buy music gear anyway, you should consider picking it up at Perfect Circuit and you should consider using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below, because doing so helps support the channel and it helps bring cool musicians like Courtney here to the studio to film. And I think I'm done with this. <laughs> I would love for you to show us your setup and kind of talk about your process a little more. Yeah. That's okay? Okay, so... Let's do it. This pedal allows me to take a normal dynamic microphone and convert the mic level signal into a instrument level signal. The reason I picked this pedal is because it has a headphone out. My next pedal is the Maris Hydra. Uh, it's a pitch shifter. Sometimes I'll just pick a key and I'll do maybe a, a static harmony, like thirds. I'll hold my pitch steady, but I'll actually change the harmony by changing the knob, which I think is really fun. essentially a delay. I say essentially because it can do a lot more. It actually won't make a sound until I sort of bring the filter up as I pass it um, lower and lower. I The sound goes away. So, which is nice because if I'm singing a line, if I'm singing a line, if I'm singing a line, Etc. I can kind of, you know, duck my own uh, effects without it 
being super obvious, you know, I'm not turning it on and off. I can scan through my delay memory. Say I'm singing something, something good, hopefully. There it is, my little delay. That was the part where I was talking. <laughs> this is the first pedal that I ever bought. Money well, well spent. I like to speed things up by having a harmony and hedra. So you have a nice little looper. I love the stability, kind of adds a little warble. And sometimes I'll slice up a loop. Kind of like jitteriness or almost like the camera is like shaking a little bit. You can change the pitch as such. If I want to fade out of a song, sometimes I'll just low pass it away. As such. This is a really new pedal from Chase Bliss. It's it's well worth it. It's really interesting. The new reverb is, is lush and gorgeous. So when I'm in tape mode, it will sort of capture a little micro loop. You can hear a little bit of talking in the background there too. Um, and you can use it like tape so you can speed it up. All of these modes have a different way where they'll pan and they'll spread the sound out. Um, and something about how the tape mode handles it is really gorgeous. and split meld so wonderfully will take stereo signal and separate it to two mono signals. We have a giant closet full of pedals. So I'm wondering if you want to like pick out some that yeah. catch your eye and we'll try some fun stuff. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I could. Uh.
so cool like seeing it happen in real time it's just yeah I mean I would be also amiss not to mention Vince because Vince has been processing my vocals for (laughs) way longer (laughs) than I have and uh, uh, we're both in this band called Bent Knee Uh, when we play live he processes my voice but that's all software and that sounds incredible there's like clips of him just going like (laughs) the reverb tail is just getting a little longer it's just (laughs) (laughs) how long have you been in Bent Knee our first tour was in 2011. Oh, wow. So it's okay. actually been a really long time. We just put out a single called Lawnmower pretty recently. The album's not done yet. We just kind of wanted to put the single out first. Did you have a, a favorite pedal you tried for the first time when you were here? I really like the light pedal and the sustain pedal. I loved what you did with the percussion aspect of it. Yeah, I it. just love that you could kind of tap on it. I don't know. I thought it was super <laughs> cool that you can see the spring and it's just there. Yeah. And yeah, it felt very um, uh, entity. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's an entity and you're like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, spring. <laughs> like, what's up? It's like, hey there. <laughs> 